Hello everyone, Oliver from Scholarcy here. Revision can be really hard, so why not make it easier and more approachable? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a similar note-taking technique to the Cornell method to convert your flashcards into a bite-sized chunk that you can refer back to at any time to recap important information. Let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn this note-taking template into this. Start by importing any article that you want to revise. For this document, I switched off Summarise by Section in the Import settings. So now if I go onto the Summary section, you can see that there's only one 400 word summary for the entire document. The next step is going to be exporting as a Word document. I've now opened up our flashcard as a Word document, and I've split the screen between the flashcard and my template. I've already added the title, and I've saved it as the name of the article that I'd like to revise. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to pull out the highlights and the summary directly from the flashcard. It's now going to be really easy to come back to this important information as I'm revising. The next step will be to go through and add some more key information as well as any notes I've made along the way. I've now gone through and I've filled out the key information as well as the notes section. For the key information, you should focus on getting all of the headlines, all of the main takeaways, but nothing that requires too much explanation for you to understand. You want to be able to glance at this and get an understanding of what the author is talking about. For the notes section, include a bit more detail for this. This can be anything that you've explained in your own words as you write notes whilst reading the original flashcard, but it can also be information that you've taken from the comparative analysis section that will help you tie this particular study into the wider field of research. So now when it comes to revising this, you can refer back to this new resource that you've created and you can very easily, in a snapshot, take the highlights, look at the key information and read any notes that you deem to be relevant for you. And if this doesn't make any sense, you can scroll down a bit further and you've got the summary available to you, which you can go through and spend some more time to really reinforce all of the important information found in that article. So in a really short amount of time, You've gone from a really complicated piece of academic text to going to see flashcards and then into a resource that you can consult with minimal effort in a short amount of time that you can use then to test your learning and then even recap it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, pop them in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching.